line tonight as we get ready for game six. Hello and welcome to 2K Sports as the playoffs march on. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. We've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. Ask Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. He said, quote, we've gotten out of control, gifting offensive players the ability to jump three or four feet into a guy and draw a foul. It's not a basketball play. Give the defensive player some benefit of the doubt, guys. All right, Alec, good stuff there. Makes a good point. You take a look at the Celtics. They find themselves in a pickle here. On the road, facing elimination, this will be a gut check. Yeah, B.A., I mean, this is the kind of game where you look at yourself in the mirror and say, okay, let's get back to who we are. The things that made them the favorite in this series are what they have to lean on tonight to send this to a Game 7. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford. And it's Williams in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Milwaukee, Giannis and Portis are in the middle. Drew Holiday out there with Grayson Allen. And it's Matthews in at the three, the small forward. Now Portis. Down low. And Giannis throws it down. Got to appreciate the decisiveness of Giannis. Rolling with purpose after setting the screen. Pass to Brown. Horford, a screen on Allen. Here's Brown. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Holiday. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Holiday against Smart. Williams, a screen on Holiday. Williams passes to Tatum. Oh, target from range. There was some question coming out of college. Could Jason Tatum hit the three consistently? He has put that to rest. Pass to Holiday. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Back to Anadokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Smart against Holiday. Smart passes to Williams. Back to Smart. Over to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Horford. Fires the three. The rebound by the Bucks. Here's Matthews. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. One thing we know about Wesley Matthews, this guy will not back away from a challenge. You want to bring contact on the inside, no problem. Smart against Holiday. Smart passes to Tatum. Pass to Horford. He's off on that one. Great D that time from Anadokounmpo. Holiday up top. Defended by Smart. Holiday passes to Portis. The three ball. The shot no good. And Boston going the other way now. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Brown inside. He's covered by Holiday. A nice shot by Brown. Well, this is what they love seeing from Jalen Brown. The aggressiveness down near the cup. This guy's attitude, tremendous.
And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Connaughton comes in for Matthews. And it's Hill in for Allen. A big group substitution here for Boston. Tice is checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Horford. White, he's checked in for Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. The Bucks trail. Hill the pass to Anadokounmpo. White with the steal. Right wing from deep. Rebounded by the Bucks. A minute 50 left in the first quarter. Anadokounmpo a screen on Williams. And he's going for the oop here. Giannis with the dunk. Impressive how in sync Giannis is with his squad, enabling them to set up a flashy alley oop. Boston has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Williams a screen on Hill. Pass to Williams. Back to Pritchard. Six to shoot. That shot is off. Good D by Anadokounmpo. Here's Connaughton. Throws it down, and the official calls a foul. It may be a three-point play. It's on Daniel Tice. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. So far, guys, they've done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy buckets. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. One ten left to play in the first quarter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Pritchard. Driving in. The kick out to Williams. Inside. Here's Pritchard. Five on the clock. Williams with the screen. A great job to establish position and square up. For Milwaukee, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall. Hill, the pass to Lopez. 41 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Holiday. Clock at six. Some solid defense from Williams. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Here's Pritchard, checked by Hill. And here's Tatum, shoots. Boston, no good that time either. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. To the paint. Here's Anadokounmpo. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Bucks on top. They lead by four. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And we hear from Drew Holiday talking about the interplay between roster and coaching staff. I really think that it's a lot of hard work. Um, obviously, our team is dedicated, and that's one thing that I don't think you could take away from, from any of us. But one thing that I've seen is everybody buying into the system. I think Coach has an awesome plan. You know, you just have to trust him, and I think that's what all of us are really starting to do. Yep, and certainly Drew Holiday has been around the block, Grant. <laughs> you know his work ethic and game plan execution will always be at a high level, no matter who he's playing for. And welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stat-wise? 
Well, coming into tonight, maybe you thought they were going to settle for perimeter jump shots. <laughs> nope, that's not the case. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted Take area, Take and break. boy, is it paying Two dividends. Shot. They've got Wesley Matthews. Grayson Allen is out there with George Hill. Then there's Brooke Lopez, and it's Portis in at the four-man position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. That's good from Horford. Well, Al Horford, one of the most respected veterans in this league. Why? Well, he's unselfish, and it's always about team first. No good on the second free throw. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside, Hill. Pass to Allen. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. A nice shot by Brown. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Brown's gone three for three from the floor. Portis with a screen on white. Pass to Matthews. 4-3. Knocks down the triple. Matthews got his second bucket on the night. Well, vintage Wesley Matthews. I'm coming right back at you with my own three. Defense! Defense! Here's Smart. Defense! Rebounded by Lopez. Outside, Hill. Portis with a screen on Smart. Hill with it. Now Horford defending. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Right side, Brown. Another shot. And Horford with the lay-in. Well, you love Horford pounding the offensive glass. Extra possessions, so many opportunities for your team. Hill, the pass to Portis. Banked it in off the glass. And the Bucks lead by three. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Smart, outside. Pass to Brown. Horford inside. Portis on him. Got a piece of it. The Bucks have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Hill. Over Smart. The Bucks rebound. Lopez misses from short range. And the Celtics shooting just around 36%. Not the best execution. Shot from 12. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Well, Milwaukee shooting a solid 47%. Smart against Hill. Pass to Allen. Beyond the arc. Warford pulls it in. Horford's got four rebounds now. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And here's Brown for three. He buries it from three. Brown's got six points in the quarter. Oh, don't you love how unselfish Marcus Smart is? Sees the open man, whips the pass over in just time out, time the right out. amount of space.
And the Bucks with some changes. Anadokounmpo is checked in for Portis. Connaughton comes in for Allen. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Hill. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Tice is checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Horford. Tatum, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Holiday finds Ana de Kumpo from downtown. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists in the game. If Giannis could be more consistent with the three, he would be impossible to stop. Now here's Tice. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Brown can't hit. Milwaukee's gone two of three from the three point line in the second. Here's Holiday. The shot no good. Some solid defense from Williams. Here's Pritchard. There's 53 seconds left in the second period. To the middle. Shot clock at six. Out of the Kupo with the block. A defensive player of the year winner. Out of the Kupo affects so many shots with his length. Good work there as it goes credit their discipline they've been working for high percentage shots Boston with a ball following the score by Milwaukee outside Brown misses off the left iron the Bucks have gone four of ten from the field in the second steps back four seconds separating the shot and game clocks on Kumpo inside another basket he's now six for seven in the contest it's been a dominant night for him, staying productive throughout. Outside, Brown. Tice sets a screen to stop the run. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Oh, the long arms of Brooke Lopez effortlessly sends that back. And that concludes the first half. Bucks ahead. They're up seven. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. Some great postseason action in the first half of play. A healthy lead has been built for the Milwaukee Bucks. Ball movement was a real factor for them on offense. They played unselfishly with patience. And guys got shots in their favorite spots. When you get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Bucks. Elimination games always drama filled much like the interactions here on set you would agree Kenny yeah we do have some moments here but you live for moments like this the tension is palpable each team fighting for a huge win and the fans love it yeah they love it, especially if your team is up 3-1 this turns out to be a 3-2 series it's going to be a really fun game six you guys always know how to be so optimistic and now back for the second half And welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. This game six getting started. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And if he felt any pressure coming into this game, he sure hasn't shown it. What a sensational start. Boy, he has been locked in, all about business, just going out there and doing what he does best. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. On the floor for Boston. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Robert Williams out there with Al Horford. And it's smart in at the one. Now here's Brown. Oh, okay then. We've got to get this guy in the dunk contest. Jalen Brown taking flight with that insane athleticism. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Holiday with the ball. Now Horford defending. The shot by Holiday, no good. Boston trailing. It's smart on the wing. He's covered by Holiday. Smart again. 
It's Holiday to the inside. And they recover it. Goes back up. They get the rebound. The Bucks shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Here's Anadokounmpo. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Outside, Brown. Holiday against Tatum. Smart, a screen on Holiday. And Tatum, here we go. Misses from close range. The Bucks have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Pass to Portis. Outside Holiday. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Horford covering. The three. Again, Ana de Kumpo missing. Boston's gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Outside Tatum. Now here's Smart. From outside the arc. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Hill, he's checked in for the Bucks. White, he's checked in for Boston. Milwaukee in the lead. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Holiday. To the left wing. Here's Portis. And the Bucks miss again. The Celtics have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Holiday against White. Inside. And there's Horford on the assist by White. Horford's got five. I like the aggressiveness. Horford is superb at staying in control on these tough shots. Horford against Anadokounmpo. Back to Holiday. Looking to end the drought. Connects from downtown. Holiday's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Outside, Williams. Pass to Tatum. Over Allen. Rebounded by the Bucks. Anadokounmpo's got a rebound number five here tonight. Outside, Hill. Anadokounmpo outside. Here's Allen. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Williams. Allen, pass to Anadokounmpo. And Anadokounmpo with the stuff. And sometimes it seems like Giannis can dunk without any effort at all. He just glides to the rim like it was nothing. A different look for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. And it's Connaughton in for Allen.
We've got 128 left in the third. Pass to Tatum. White for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. White's got his first three points of the game. Well, this is the aspect of Tatum's game that is most improving, the ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. Lopez, the screen on Williams. Anadokounmpo with it. He's picked up by Tice. And Giannis Anadokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Boston has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Checked by Hill. Just five to shoot. Here's White. That one a little long. Milwaukee has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Anadokounmpo, right side. Back to Hill. On the wing, Holiday. Throws it up high. Ooh, the death touch on the lob. I mean, a true do-anything star. You know, Giannis' scoring ability sometimes is a little underappreciated. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Fires from deep. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Milwaukee closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. To talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Milwaukee has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. George Hill out there with Pat Connaughton. Then there's Brooke Lopez, then it's Wesley Matthews, and it's Portis in at the four slot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Here's Matthews. The three is up. Tice grabs the miss. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Brown. Oh, great D that time from Portis. The Bucks shooting about 43% on this one. Here's Hill. An easy two on the layup. Hill's got his first points of the game. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Here's Smart. Takes it inside. And the 10-footer finds the target. And this is where Marcus Smart has gotten so much better at reading the defense. He sees an open lane, and he attacks it. Outside, Hill. Over Williams. And that one comes up a bit short. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end. Now here's Smart. He's closely guarded. Going inside. Here's Tice. The rebound by the Bucks. Here's Connaughton. Lopez, the screen on Smart. Connaughton goes in. Tice grabs the miss. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Here's Smart. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside, Hill. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. It's smart on the wing. Williams passes to Brown. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Boy, you have got to appreciate how hard Jalen Brown goes. Amazing how he gets defenders to foul him when he's going up with his shot. 
All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bucks. The fantastic passing we saw from them in the first half carried right over into the second half, too. And they've consistently drilled that mid-range jumper as well, and that's really opened things up for them. Free throw good. Brown. Uh, how exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player? This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dump the basketball. And the Bucks making a change here. Allen's checked in. Williams is checked in for Boston. Horford comes in for Williams. And both free throws good for Brown. The Bucs have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Hill finds Allen. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Lopez, the screen on Smart. Giannis Antetokounmpo checked in for the Bucs. Drew Holiday comes in for Hill. The Celtics also with a sub. Tatum's checked in. Boston trailing. Smart with the ball. Guarded now by Holiday. And it's Smart missing. Smart has gone one for six shooting from the field. Anadokounmpo to pass to Portis. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Anadokounmpo's got three assists in the game. Boston's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Outside, Brown. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got his fifth rebound in this one. And they double up on it at Kumpo. Horford with the block. Here's Smart. Kupo with the block. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Brown. Kicks it out to Smart from behind the arc. Again, the miss by the Celtics. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. And they double up Anadokounmpo. Shot clock at five. And Giannis throws it down. With gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. For the Celtics, this one not looking good. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Again, Brown missing. The Bucks have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Allen. to Kumpo inside defended by smart and that one goes out of bounds last touch by Tatum there's 48 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter down to five on the shot clock on to Kumpo a screen on Brown well, Brown taking away the shooter's airspace. Effectively crowd scores and gets them out of their comfort zone. Here's Tatum. Boston, no good that time either. So it's Milwaukee now. Portis, left side. Here's Ana DeCumpo. And that one drops. And now an 11-point Milwaukee lead. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. And so the Milwaukee Bucks have won the series. They'll take a 4-2 series victory here in the second round. And the NBA Finals could be just a few games away for them. Yeah, heading into the conference finals off a big win like this one has to feel good. But they've got their work cut out for them in the games ahead.
And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Giannis, a tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this game so convincingly? Uh, it was a team effort. I think we came out. We did not mess around with the game. We came, we did our job. We defended. We moved the ball. That's why we were able to uh, close the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis. Allie, thank you as always. Time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. Now our new balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.